What do you think about coal ash in Chatham County? Well, uh, the site that we have is in the southeastern por portion of the county, and um, it is an area that is uh, zoned industrial. I mean, it's vastly industrial. It has the nuclear reactor there, and um, there's a large brick plant there. There's a large plywood plant there. There's a large lumber mill there, and so it has... Um, a lot of industrial uses already. If that's an area that stays mainly industrial, there are some specific sites and acreage that could actually be worth more because they would have a specific industrial purpose. But um, uh, residentially right now, it's, it's, it's an unfortunate um, uh, negative on property values if they're strictly residential. I don't think too many people want to live next door to the coal ash site. Uh, there is a lot of county water there, so if they're hooked up to municipal water, there should be less issues. But, um, you know, there's a lot of fear, a lot of fear about living next door to something like that. And uh, uh, there's quite a bit of truck traffic in that area right now. I mean, now that that has been proposed as one of the major sites, that coal ash is coming in from multiple sources. Are you an expert witness for Chatham County, for all North Carolina, or...? I've been, uh, I have uh, been hired as a, a federal bankruptcy expert witness for um, Greensboro. Okay. That was intimidating. Federal court is much, much different than uh, state court. Okay. So <clears throat> it's because of that designation that I have the accredited land consultant. There's, um, there's like 350, 400 across the country. It is one of the most difficult designations to get as far as real estate is concerned. And um, uh, so, uh, through through some of your work, and just um, uh, because I actually have the phrase "expert witness" in my website, I get lots of calls from attorneys. Um, uh, not only am I doing uh, testimony in court or depositions prior to court, but uh, uh, many many times this year alone, I've been hired as. Um, uh, a person to help with a divorce. Um, there's something called a petition for partition where we have a family that inherits land and so you'll have four family members inherit a hundred acres and you would just assume that that would be 25 acres each but uh, as we discussed earlier all acres aren't uh, the same like when we said an ounce of gold is not an ounce of gold when it comes to land. Um, so, you know, on 100 acres, there will be a section that has road frontage. That's going to be worth more. There could be a section that has better soils for perking and septic. That's going to be worth more. There could be a uh, lowland swamp area, and that's going to be worth less. And so it's, it's very difficult to figure out how we're going to cut those four acres up equally amongst uh, four heirs. Usually well, the best thing to do is sell the entire hundred acres and dip. it's a lot easier to divvy up money than it is land. What else does an expert witness do? Um, well, it's, it's, just, it's just to give uh, uh, the judge or the jury some um, information that's outside the norm. You know, most people would think that all acres are created equal and they're all worth the same. Uh, also, it's just the experience of the market, what's happening with prices and values, whether or not they're going up and down. It's just, you know, it's just, it's just our area. The reason why I do it, I mean, they do, they do pay us and it's a decent hourly wage to be paid. And when I did the federal bankruptcy court, I actually, uh, they had my testimony and my testimony was read, but I was never called upon the stand. But for three days I had to be there and I was paid you know, to be there all three days or whatever. But really one of the reasons why I do it is because there will be other expert witnesses there. I'll learn about the process. I learn from other experts in the field and I just think it helps better serve my clientele.